I'm Aileen Paulin Murray, and I'm one of the founding family members and current president of the Board of Directors of West Toronto Keys to Inclusion. When young adults graduate from school, there's usually a pretty definite course or journey they want to follow. In the case of families where the young adults have an intellectual disability, the course and the journey is a little different. In this case, a lot of support and guidance needs to come from family and community members. West Toronto Keys to Inclusion was formed by families looking for that kind of guidance and support for their young adults. When my daughter Maxine graduated, the choices for community and neighborhood participation were very limited. Like the other families, we were told programs had wait lists. What were they going to do? It was unthinkable that they would stay home all day and watch TV. Yeah. Keys to Inclusion started with a lunch and learn program because we figured everybody needs to eat lunch, everybody likes to eat lunch, and it's important to know how to plan a healthy and nutritious lunch. Where do we shop? How do we shop smartly? How do we budget? And how do we prepare the meals? How do we clean up after the meals? We cook, we craft, we dance, we eat, uh, but most of all it's about everybody sharing and friendship. The basic lunch and learn program at Keys offers that in the context of social relationships and the ability to connect with others. So Lunch and Learn is um, part of our day where we get the chance to uh, take ownership of a recipe and bring it to life. So every month each of our participants gets uh, the opportunity to choose anything they want and we will try to, our best to cook it. Yeah. Yeah, Alright, I'm starting yeah, to see some steam now. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Lunch and Learn is always very tasty but it is the filling in the sandwich. According to our three pillars, we have uh, learning in the arts, literacy, numeracy, we have social and recreation, and then we have our community contributors. Our community connections and partnerships are absolutely vital to our participants. We have local celebrity chefs who come in and share their favorite recipes and um, always in a very interesting and dynamic way present a little learning lesson. How wonderful for a parent to walk in to the kitchen and see their child chopping, setting the table or cleaning up. It's wonderful as well as improved social skills and relationships. It's really very, very heartwarming for a parent to know that their child has a destination at any age. Keys regularly goes to Habitat for Humanity Restore where they help dust and clean and paint whatever job is required. They're there as regular volunteers. Uh, once a month we also go off to a safe haven and we cook for our friends there. But on an individual basis we're very thrilled to have wonderful relationships with Pollock's Home Hardware and at Ontario Early Years, our friends at Ola Daycare, as well as Fresh Collective where our community contributors go. The Horticultural Society of Parkdale and Toronto, they're great friends of ours. They're coming with their seasonal greens to make wreaths and have a, a festive afternoon together. Walking into Keys, I am rewarded with smiles and stories and a sense of community and spirit that is present not only at the Lunch and Learn, but out in the community. And that's what our young adults bring. They help build these strong, vibrant communities, including and embracing people with all abilities. Keys is so grateful to Community Living Toronto for the use of their space at the Community Junction. We are also so grateful to each and every one of our friends and supporters who donate so generously. Families with children with intellectual disabilities, as of course they grow into adults, 
have to finance everything for them. So we at Keys, we keep our fees as low as possible. And then we have fairy fundraisers who help us along so that we can offer these wonderful learning opportunities to our young adults in a safe, inclusive, and respectful environment. We call it SIR. Where we started with just seven participants, today we have 20. And where we had just a few young men seven years ago, I'd say half and half now. And we have a broad range of cultural backgrounds and um, interest groups. And it's just fascinating to see the variety and the diversity, which reflects our community. There's no way she's not going to Keys. Maxine loves Keys. She wakes up every morning. She's totally energized. She wants to be with her friends. She knows what the calendar says, what the activity is. She wants her independence. She just is so happy. And likewise, so are we. The smiles are the best reward possible.